All right, this is my first print after my 2,000 mile road trip. I didn't have to uh, change anything, but uh, this is also my first print trying a new slicer um, in profile. So I'm using Ellis's uh, Super Slicer profile. Only thing I changed um, was bed temp. Uh, I printed this at 100 and then 250 and I still have the stock uh, afterburner there. Prints very good. See the layers there. Sorry, UPS guy interrupted there. Um, but this uh, eSun ABS Plus tends to have a very good finish from what I've seen. Um, but this profile is quite good. And I printed it in his 45 orientation like he suggests. Um, I didn't change his fan settings and I realized he's using stealth burner. But you can kind of see there appears to be some kind of airflow difference there for the bridging. The front side is quite good. Some string in there on the back. A little bit of line there. The same on this side, but you can kind of see it stuck very good, but the corners started to pull up, which caused some layer issues there. Uh, it was about an hour, just over an hour print. This is for a Dewalt battery holder. Um, so probably next time we're going to try to run the bed at 105 uh, and kind of see, but my squish looks pretty good there. Um, but I already heat soaked it for a couple minutes. I'm going to buy the backers and then probably buy the stuff to do the new tap mod um, and the stealth burner. Give it a little chest fit here. Perfect. Oh. It's got the little latch. So, yeah, I'm going to keep using his profile with his settings and my printer. I've got to set at this, which I've got to do some confirmation um, on these versus his. Uh, this was after I ran input shaper, but I had a little bit of weird readings, but the prints looked good. And now I've got it on my very heavy toolbox as a base. Um, and it seems to calm down the vibration. <laughs> 